number one has twenty seven four point four hundred and four because the word it is the four because it's the four is in the tenth place. Good job. Okay. The nine is in the thousandth place. The her four is in the hundreds. Six is in the hundreds. Uh, six and, and five is bigger than six and forty-five hundreds. Because why? Because it's greater. Okay. How many tenths do you see here? Five. Five. How many tenths do you see here? Four. Four. So which one is bigger? The five. Because there's. Because there's big. More. More. Then. More. More than four. It's more than four. Six point five is greater than six point forty five because. Circle them. Show me where six point five is. Six and five tenths. Where's six and forty five hundredths? Okay. And why is six and five tenths greater? Because the seven. Closer. Closer than. And six. To the. To the closer to what? Closer to the. To the seven. Twelve and eight hundred and one thousand is bigger than twelve of an eight tenths. Because why? Because it's bigger. Where is this? Twelve and eight hundred one thousandths is where? It's closer to? It's closer to the eight. It's t closer to twelve, 12 and, and eighty one. Eighty one. On hundreds. Hundreds. Okay, so what sign are you going to put here? I'm going to put the... Draw the sign. 12 and 8 hundred one thousandths is greater than 12 and 8 tenths because it's closer to 12 and 81 hundredths on the number line. Uh-huh. When we order decimals, we can order them in two ways. First, we could... List the numbers we're working with. 86 hundredths, 3 hundredths, 91 hundredths, 2 tenths. My 2 tenths is actually 20 hundredths. Adding this zero right here does not change the value. This number is still 2 tenths. Now I can look at my hundredths place first which is right here, and take a look and see what's happening. Well, if I look at my hundredths place, and then I look over here at my tenths place, I notice that this number right here, three hundredths, has the least amount of tens. So that's going to be my smallest, my smallest number, if we're going least to greatest. Okay. Now I can look at, now that I have all of my hundredths are all in the same, I have the same amount of hundredths in every number, I look at the second smallest number, which is two tenths. The next smallest number, 86 hundredths. And finally, the greatest number, which would be 91 hundredths. The other way we can do this is by showing a number line. This number line shows the numbers from 0 to 1 with 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, all the way up to 1. And I've also included the spaces in between because the number that's in between 0 and 1 tenth, exactly halfway, is 5 hundredths. And it's important for me to have the five hundredths here, the, hundred, the, the halfway between zero and one-tenth, because I have a number like three hundredths. And in order for me to kind of get a better idea of where that has to go, I need that five hundredths there. All right. So what I did was I went and I marked where each number would be. Three hundredths would be between zero and five hundredths. Two-tenths, right on the line. 86 hundredths would be between 85 hundredths and 9 tenths. And 91 hundredths would be between 9 tenths and 95 hundredths. And this number line shows me exactly least to greatest. 3 tenths, 2 
three hundredths, I'm sorry, two tenths, eighty six hundredths, ninety one hundredths. Seventeen and six to the next one is seven, and the six set up seven will be eighteen. Okay, next one. Eh. And, uh, uh, zero and twenty give five to the knee. It was ten. And it was the ten and a five makes it three point zero. Oh, zero point three. Zero point three. Right. Okay. Next one. Eh. And, eh. And twelve. So, and five thousand and, and three to the nearest thousand. The three, the thousand, the ten. There's the thousand. Good. And, and um, and three is gonna add up to the zero. No, and three is gonna make the zero stay the same. Great. So the so answer is zero. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> Say it louder. Um, the three is going to what? The three is going to make the zero the same. Okay, so write mm. down your answer. Two point three. Well, the zero's here. And the point should go right there. Mm. Mm. Zero, and then five. five. So the numbers. The numbers in front of the zero stay exactly the same. Uh huh. So put back the other part. Yeah, the decimal point. The decimal point is twelve. 12. They, oh, we're gonna put the decimal point back there. There you go. So when you round, you're rounding this number, but everything in front of it stays the same. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Try the next one. And on the two. Oh, what? A. Eh. And two thousand and nine hundred four in nine to the knee. Who was hundredth? Which number's in the hundredths place? A hundredth place. Let's check. Well, let's check that. Let's check this. This is the one ten tenths. This is the oh. So which this one right there is here? The yeah. Oh no, that's okay. It was your idea. That's okay. Nope. And now it's well, recording. That's okay. We're okay, Adelina. We're just gonna do this. Uh huh. Cause it'll stay right there. Show me which number is in the hundreds place. Okay. Eh. The four is gonna make the nine. And go up. Add. Zero to four stays the same. Uh, and five to nine rounds up. up. The four makes the nine. The four makes the nine stay the same. Stay the same. And the answer is nine two point. Read that two. number for me. Had two and two thousand. No, two and two twenty nine. And twenty nine. Uh, hundred. Say that number again. Had two and twenty nine hundred.